All right, so I am a 26 year old dude. Uh, and yeah, what I do for work is I do graphic design. I work primarily online. Uh, right now I only have one client, but that brings around, I would say $800 per month. Uh, so that's kind of like average, right? Uh, for someone working on, uh, online. Uh, but it is a choice of mine because if I have more work, then that means I have to spend more time making money. And this video is all about teaching you how to save your money by basically reducing your costs. Uh, so that way you can have more free time to do what you love. Okay, so currently I am living in Krakow and yeah, Krakow is not that big. It's actually uh, quite small, especially if you're living in the center. Uh, but Krakow is a beautiful city. There's a lot of different cafes, restaurants, uh, events going on. And it's actually a city of internationals. There's a lot of people from all over the world here. Uh, so if you want to network or do that type of sort of stuff, uh, then you can definitely do it here uh, because you can meet a lot of people from uh, different countries, different cultures and just overall different mindsets and another thing about Krakow is that it's quite a cheap city uh, so yeah you can get uh, quite cheap apartments here uh, you can also the, the food over here is quite cheap uh, the clothes and electronics I mean they're usually the same around the same price as other countries uh, but yeah, it's a cheaper country than let's say maybe Chicago or anywhere in the US Okay, so let's talk a little bit about my life. So I'm not really living like luxuriously, but that's not the point of my life uh, I'm living very very comfortably. You know, I enjoy my life. Uh, I have things that I do that I really enjoy uh, and I spend my time how I want to, you know, I'm not burdened down by work or doing things that I don't want to do. I kind of get to control my life in the way that I want to control it. And that gives me a sense of freedom. All this free time allows me to go to cafes, uh, travel to different cities. You know, if I want to move today, I could do it. Um, another thing is like I can come here to the mall, you know, just sit with my laptop and record a video. And yeah, uh, basically living on a budget allows me uh, the freedom to do as I choose with my time. All right, so now let's get into uh, how I'm doing it. So this video is about budgeting. So the three categories that I'm basically spending the most money on are rent, groceries, and transportation. Uh, yeah, so for rent, uh, right now I'm living a little bit outside the center, like 30 minutes away, but that's okay because there's actually a bus uh, terminal right by our place. So I can just hop on the bus and I'll be in the center in like 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, the neighborhood is super cool. I mean, it's very quiet, uh, not a lot of noise. So when I come home, I know that I'll be able to rest and relax. And there's also a lot of nature around my neighborhood. Uh, a lot of different cafes uh, so the neighborhood is ideal uh, what we have in our apartment is two bedrooms uh, obviously we have a kitchen and a bathroom uh, we have a nice big yard and we're basically living in someone's house because uh, there's three floors and the first floor is where we're living uh, but the landlady, she's super cool, super supportive. Anytime we need anything, she's got our back. And basically what we're paying is, right now we're paying $200 a month each. So uh, yeah, that's $400 for a two bedroom place, which is really, really inexpensive. And rent also depends on the season, right? Because in the winter you need a lot of heating uh, for the water, also the, using a lot of gas. Uh, so that increases the amount of rent so i guess in the summertime we're going to be paying a little bit less uh, which is a positive thing so when it comes to groceries and food uh, so yeah how i learned to save the most money is to buy a lot at once uh, because this saves you time and saves you money uh, so for example let's say i'm gonna buy like food for the next maybe three to four days uh, so I buy a bunch of vegetables maybe I buy some meat or some fish and then I basically cut all the vegetables up and I make like a curry uh, so I use a big pot put all the vegetables in uh, maybe add like 
different spices to make it taste good and then I have that for the next three days so that's about nine meals that I get out of that curry and I would say that curry cost me about $15 to make uh, so yeah that's quite cheap you know $15 for nine good meals is uh, a good amount and then uh, yeah usually there is leftover vegetables uh, you know so that goes into maybe like having breakfast or maybe having something extra uh, but groceries also depend on if I want to buy something special so for example if I want to buy some coconut oil right that might be a little bit more expensive if I want to get myself maybe some cacao right so that's like an additional couple dollars maybe I want to get myself some salmon right so that's additional few dollars uh, but yeah usually it's in the range of between like 25 to 30 dollars per week uh, so yeah per month that's like 120 dollars uh, but again yeah it varies from month to month because it depends on uh, what I want to eat there's the occasional going out to restaurants uh, but usually when I'm going out I find like inexpensive places and the good thing about living in Krakow is that the food here uh, is usually really cheap so if you go to a restaurant you can get yourself a meal for like five dollars uh, but yeah you just have to look around and I think you know that's kind of in all cities if you find the right place uh, then you'll be able to pay uh, cheap for, for, for a nice meal alright and the last category is transportation uh, so yeah this might be a lot for some people because obviously people use uh, cars right so they have to pay for gasoline every time uh, but I choose not to use a car I choose to use public transport uh, because yeah I pay $35 for the monthly ticket and basically I can go anywhere around the city there for that whole month I don't have to worry about parking I don't have to worry about gas I don't have to worry about accidents right I just buy the monthly pass and I'm good to go uh, so that saves me a lot of time and a lot of stress and also this is why it's good to live in maybe a smaller city or maybe like a European city because European cities they're usually very like compact so you have everything that you need in the center and usually the transportation system is uh, really efficient unlike in the US also there's some miscellaneous expenses such as phone bill and for your phone bill you know there's always carriers that are much less expensive than the one that you're paying for now uh, for example when I was living in the US I was paying like $20 a month uh, for 10 gigs of data and unlimited texting and calling uh, and over here I'm paying 10 you know so uh, yeah you just gotta find the right carrier and you should be fine and then another thing is like maybe gym or maybe some classes right and usually people don't have these expenses but uh, I usually go to jiu-jitsu and that costs me like $35 a month so yeah it's not too expensive but still uh, I wanted to add it on because maybe someone goes to the gym or maybe takes like a martial arts class uh, so yeah again I buy a monthly pass for that uh, because I'm not gonna be paying like a daily pass because it's much more expensive so now let's count it up uh, so the monthly spending is 200 for rent uh, groceries and food are around 150 to 200 per month transportation is 35 uh, phone bill is 10 and jiu-jitsu class is around 35 to 40 uh, so the total comes out to 485 dollars a month and again this varies to month to month uh, because again I can spend less on groceries and then it will be around 400 or maybe I don't have to go to jiu-jitsu that month right and that saves me like 40 bucks uh, so it all depends on the situation I had situations where I was living off of like 300 a month because basically uh, I was only making like 350 per month uh, so I had to really cut down on all my expenses you know I would work out at home uh, I would usually not take public transport I would have a bike uh, for groceries I would really try to cook in bulk and I wouldn't try to spend extra on uh, fancy stuff because uh, then yeah you know the expenses would eventually add up and I couldn't afford it uh, but I had a month or two months where I was basically living off of 300 per month how most people live uh, is they live very luxuriously right because we all want to have a luxurious lifestyle 
and there might be many like reasons to this you know maybe some people want to show off to their friends and uh, maybe they're trying to compete with their friends uh, maybe they've taken on things that uh, they should have not taken on early on uh, and now they have a lot of responsibilities like paying for a car paying for a house uh, maybe now they have kids but I try to keep my lifestyle very simple uh, because when I don't have to pay for a lot of things and my uh, monthly costs or monthly expenses are very low this gives me a lot of freedom of time uh, because I only have to work a certain amount of hours to basically pay off my expenses and if I have to pay off expenses that are $500 a month you know that means I only have to work like maybe 15 hours per month and that's, that's nothing right uh, and the extra money that I make I could put into investing or maybe put into travel or put into things that I actually want to do with my free time uh, but most people don't really have this option because they're basically stuck with really high expenses therefore they have to work many many hours to pay off these expenses uh, so uh, yeah it's kind of a burden on their back okay and one really important thing when living on a budget is not to suffer while doing it uh, because once you start to budget right you're gonna have to cut off a lot of expenses and this might mean that you can't buy yourself that maybe food that you really like or maybe this means that you cannot go to a restaurant uh, with your friend you know that really expensive restaurant uh, that he likes to go to or maybe that means that uh, you cannot buy yourself those fancy shoes that month uh, but yeah the most important thing is not to suffer you know so try not to sacrifice like the things that you really enjoy doing uh, for example for me I love going to cafes I love being like somewhere different than my home uh, so how I kind of hack this is I don't usually go to like fancy cafes I try to find cafes that have cheap drinks and all I do is just buy one drink you know and then uh, I'm there for like two to three hours and I'm enjoying my time there maybe I meet someone there uh, and I, I just enjoy that atmosphere or maybe I come here to the shopping center you know and it has this kind of cafe vibe and I got my drink right here so that way I'm not spending any money on tea uh, or maybe another thing for example traveling right I don't want to sacrifice travel because I'm living on a budget uh, so I buy my tickets in advance and I don't buy like a train ticket I buy maybe a bus ticket because it's like 20 or 30 percent less expensive uh, so there's like hacks you know to kind of not sacrifice uh, your lifestyle just because you want to budget and save money uh, but lastly yeah it's super important to budget because uh, right now if you're broke you know uh, you're, like you're gonna be in that position for a very long time if you don't learn how to save your money and to invest that money into something that can uh, help you uh, build wealth for the future so yeah right now if you don't have money uh, you need to really really uh, settle down and learn how to save your money this is the only way that I kind of see myself getting out of poverty is to learn how to budget and yeah eventually increase my income and uh, yeah invest that money into something that will maybe I don't know help me grow my uh, my income to a level where I'm, I'm satisfied and the thing is I'm not trying to achieve millions you know but I want to be in a place where I have enough uh, just in case you know I can take care of my family uh, so I'm thinking smart about this and I'm thinking in terms of kind of a long-term plan instead of thinking about just temporary pleasures so that's basically all I wanted to share hopefully this was useful to you and if you do have some questions then obviously leave a comment or you can just email me uh, the email is probably gonna be at the about page or somewhere maybe below I don't know uh, but yeah let me know your thoughts what you think of this video do you think budgeting is important and what have you done to cut down your expenses this month